Assalamu alaikum student mathematics 4024 welcome to maths guru i hope you all are fine i am fine too alhamdulillah student this is a question on everyday mathematics and this question has been taken from the past paper and uh, this is a paper 2 question uh, since we can see that the concept of compound interest is used in this question so we cannot uh, do these type of calculations without calculators so this is a paper 2 question in which calculator is allowed I have already solved the question. We will be discussing the solution in this video, inshallah. I hope this video will be helpful for you. Let's just begin the question. The question has three parts. And uh, in the first part, the price of an electric drill is $1.78. In a sale, the price is reduced by 15%. Calculate the sale price. So this is again uh, the same concept of uh, sale price. And we'll be solving this question by making two headings and uh, the two headings will be the first one will be percentage since percentage is given and the other heading will be the price which is in dollars. So we have the price of the electric drill that is $78. So this is the original price and uh, in a sale the price is reduced now. So this uh, price reduction is by 15%. So after making two headings of price and the percentage, since we know that this dollar seventy eight is hundred percent, so we will just write hundred in the column of percentage. So in front of hundred, we will write seventy eight because seventy eight is the hundred percent price. And since now we have to find out the fifteen percent reduced price, so fifteen percent reduced price will not be equal to hundred percent it will be equal to 85% because there is a, re a reduction of 15%. So 100 minus 15 will give us 85. So we will write 85 in the column of uh, percentage and in front of 85 we will write x because we have to find this value. So now on uh, cross uh, multiplying this x will get multiplied with 100 and this 85 will be multiplied by 78. So this will look like this 100 multiplied by x equals to 78 multiplied by 85 since we have to find the value of x so we will shift this 100 on the other side and it will get divided and now we just have to use our calculators so 78 multiplied by 85 divided by 100 will give us 66.3 dollars which is the reduced price of the electric drill Moving on to the next part, the next part says the exchange rate between dollars and euros is $1 equals to 0 0.85 euros. This is the exchange rate which is given to us between dollars and euros. Michael changes $100 to euros. Michael has $100 and he wishes to convert these $100 into euros. And then after converting the money into euros, he buys a clock costing euro 58.99 and uh, he then changes the remaining money back to dollars calculate the amount in dollars he has left so first we will find out how much is the money in euros by using this exchange rate again we will be to uh, we will be making two headings the first one is of dollar and the second one is of euro so this is the dollar and this is the euro since one dollar equals to 0 0.85 euros so i will just write one in the column of dollar and in front of one i will write 0 0.85 euros and uh, we want to convert hundred dollars into euros so i will just write hundred in the column of dollars and in place of euros i will write x since i have to find out this value and on cross multiplying hundred will be multiplied with 0 0.85 so which will give us 85 so x the value of x is coming out as 85 so after converting 100 dollars into euros he will get 85 euros so now michael has 85 euros and now he goes to a shop and buys a clock costing euro 58.99 so now uh, he has spent some money and now we are interested in finding out the remaining money because we have to tell that the remaining money we have to give our answer of the remaining money in dollars so what we will do we will just subtract uh, michael has 85 euros and now 
after spending 58.99 what i will do i will just subtract these two values 85.00 minus 58.99 will give me 26.01 so this is the euros which michael has right now after buying the clock so what does the question say next the question say he changes the remaining money back to dollar so now he is interested in changing this uh, 26.01 euros into dollars so again we will be using the same uh, exchange rate one dollar is equals to 0 0.85 so i will just make two headings dollars and euros one dollar equal to 0 0.85 and now i want dollars so i will just write x in the column of dollars and how many euros do I have? I have 26.01 euros. Again, cross multiplying. When I will cross multiply, this x will get multiplied with 0 0.85 and 26.01 will be multiplied with 1. And since I have to find the value of x, I will shift this 8, uh, 0 0.85 on the other side. So my equation will look like x is equal to 26.01 divided by 0 0.85. And my answer will be 30.6 dollars. So this is the amount in dollars that Michael has after buying the clock.